It's African Utility Week, and it's the, second, it's the largest utility. Uh, it services on, on the continent with more than 200 exhibitors and some 5,000 power professionals from 60 different countries attending this event. Joining us in the studio for a look at the International Water Association's plans, that's the IWA, for 2012 and beyond, is Sarah Tibatema, who is director of the IWA in Africa. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you very much. IWA, uh, a water a facility, a utility organization. Give us the context. What is it? Yeah, International Water Association, as you may have heard the association, it is uh, about water professionals. It's an association of uh, different kinds of water professionals. We have researchers, we have academicians, we have utilities, we have policy makers. Basically, it's anybody who has anything to do with water the subject of water. Now it has an African branch which is presumably what this is about. Yeah it has. Um, the headquarter is in The Hague and in London but we have what we call regional offices and uh, the Africa regional office was started about four years ago. Before that uh, everything was being done centrally but it was actually discovered that if you have a regionalized kind of approach then people get more out of it. Mm. Yeah. These professionals, I mean, it's obvious that water is a, a precious and scarce commodity, particularly sure. in Africa. Parts of Africa are deserts. Parts yeah. of them are very low rainfalls, and uh, they, they are very arid. That's true. Now, there's an advert from one company or another at the moment saying the next war will be about water uh, yeah. because it's going to be scarce. Mm -hmm. It's a, a, a crucial, vital resource, yeah, and there's is. a scarcity. So what are they getting together to talk about, knowing all this? Now, uh, as you may have mentioned, water is a scarce commodity, and yet water is life. Without it, you cannot live. Um, so there are many pressures on the use of water. There's obviously agriculture, there's the drinking water, there's water for industry. So you must have a balance so that you have water for all those uses and satisfy all the consumers at that level. But I really believe that the drinking water issue should be priority because as I said, it's life. How good are we in Africa at this? It must vary from country to country. I mean, in South Africa, for example, we often have crises because the dams get very low. The quality of the water generally is pretty good, although some areas it isn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can look at it from two different kinds of view. There is the quality issue and the quantity issue. Mm. We have a lot of water in Africa. Unfortunately, when you talk about drinking water quality, that may be not so good. So you have plenty of water. Somebody says, water, water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Mm. So the quality of water is not good. It's still a challenge. What's the problem? Is it a lack of money to spend on uh, purification plants, on pipes? What's the problem? The problems are several. One of them is just about management of the water. If you are going to get good drinking water quality, you must manage the sources. You must manage the catchment. So one of the issues is how do you get all these people together so that the catchment can be managed properly, so that the water that comes out of that catchment can be of good quality, so that when the utility gets that water, as raw water as we call it, when they do the um, kind of uh, process they go through, what they use will depend on the quality of the water. There is so much money being put in to make sure that that water is good enough for drinking because of what is going on in the catchment. We think of some of the big rivers uh, in Africa, the Zambezi, the Congo River. The Nile. Uh, uh, the Nile. Yeah. Yeah. Are these rivers being used as they should? Rivers are being used um, particularly, I will say that they're being used well from the agriculture point of view. But when you look at them as sources of drinking water, that's where the problem is. Because everything that comes from around the catchment, the human activities, are going to impact mm. on the water quality. What's happening then with the IWA? What are they going to, how long are they going to talk for and what are you hoping will come out of this gathering? Yeah, uh, during this week as IWA, we are into the business of strengthening utilities. And we have seen that actually utilities in Africa really need a lot of strengthening. There are the issues of non-revenue water management, issues of operation and maintenance, issues of just quality. Now, we have what we call specialist groups in IWA. When you become a member, you join one of those groups of your interest. 
because obviously, as you said, water is a wide subject. There is uh, water for drinking. There is also wastewater management. Mm. Now, during this um, utility week, we are hoping to reach out to the people that we are working with. We are reaching out to our members. We would actually uh, hope that out of this week, we are also going to get more members. Membership on the Africa region is still low. And now that we have uh, a regional office, we are seeing that we are going to get more out of IWA from experiences of other regions, from other members, from other professionals. So during this week, it's a week that is going to be used for getting contacts, mm. uh, knowing what other people are doing and what we can do as IWA. You mentioned different interest groups. What's yours? What's your speciality? Uh, my speciality is in drinking water quality. Mm. I worked in a utility for over 10 years and I was uh, the head of the quality department. Um, I'm also interested in what we call the water safety plans. Mm. This is an approach, uh, it's like a tool which is wholesome. It is not just about quality, but it's about the wholesomeness of water and it was supported by the WHO. So um, I was in the front line for that on the African continent. We, we started the first water safety plans in Uganda. That was the first in a country, uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, and I think the only other country was South Africa, which was already doing water safety plans. Mm. But I'm glad that right now as we speak, we have uh, helped and uh, supported a number of utilities to go this way, of uh, a multidisciplinary kind of approach mm. to water quality. Well, it sounds encouraging for a vital resource. That was Sarah Tibatema, who is director of the IWA Africa.